Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. And a couple of areas that we are watching in the tropics, we have uh, TD number eight in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. We also have uh, Tropical Storm Gonzalo uh, in the central Atlantic that is working its way on towards the west. First up is Tropical Depression number eight. Uh, this one, just a, it's fairly disorganized, but it has shown more organization as we've gone through the past, say, uh, 6 to 12 hours. Winds are currently at 35 miles an hour. It's located at 26.3, 90.7, moving to the west-northwest at 9 miles an hour. Now, we do have a tropical storm watch that is up for Port Mansfield, Texas, down to High Island, Texas. And this is basically forecasted to become a tropical storm sometime either later today into tomorrow. Uh, next name on the list, by the way, is Hannah, uh, making landfall across uh, the coastline of Texas as we go into uh, the weekend. And it looks like the biggest threat with this would be just the heavy rainfall. Uh, three to five inches of rain. We could see some pockets of up to eight inches of rain uh, as this works its way on shore. So we'll continue to watch this and keep you updated as we go through the coming days on the progress of uh, TD number eight. We also have Tropical Storm Gonzalo. Now, this one was looking really impressive yesterday. It was really starting to get it organized, kind of define what computer models were saying about it. Uh, but when you have these very compact storms, they can spin up very easily but they can also be affected by environmental conditions very easily as well. Now, you look at this, you kind of see this uh, big blob kind of racing out ahead of the system. It's not a completely healthy system at this point, some dry air around this system. And so there's really a lot of uncertainty as we go through the next several days on, will this survive and actually make it into the Caribbean? Computer models kind of split on that. But right now, winds are at 65 miles an hour. The official forecast track, they even say they are basically being cautious and just going ahead and calling this uh, an intensifying system just to be on the safe side. But at this point, you know, they even admit this may actually dissipate or weaken substantially before it actually makes it to the Windward Islands. But it makes its way into the Caribbean. That's where... Basically, all the computer models show this system weakening. Some of the, the computer models just indicated basically dissipating with this Saharan air layer, this very dry air working its way across the Caribbean. So this is kind of a wait and see as we go through the next several days. In fact, you look at the Saharan air layer, you can see a lot of this sitting to the north of the system. But as the system, as Gonzalo works its way into the Caribbean, that's where it really starts to interact with a lot of this dry air. So we're just gonna kind of watch this one over the next several days, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. There's still a lot of questions about this system. We'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.